hello guys so welcome to the session 24 in jenkins series so in this session we will see how we can check out the code from multiple scms in single jenkins jobs so let's say i have this first project day one project i have some couple of files in this project and i have different project day two and it also contain different files okay so until now we have seen how we can use the jenkins job to get the project or get the code from the github or gitlab okay and uh, we build that project using the Jenkins job but in that case we have used to uh, check out from single repository okay that means either day one or day two okay so now we are going to see how we can get the code from both day one and day two in a single Jenkins job and how we can build it that means we are going to check out the code from multiple SCM so in this case you can have multiple uh, github repository or one uh, repository from the github another one from the gitlab like that so there are couple of ways by which we can do this there is one plugin in jenkins this is the plugin multiple scms okay so we can use this plugin okay so as of now this plugin is deprecated so even though it is uh, deprecated but still useful in many cases okay so you will see how we can use it and another one is you can use the uh, pipeline script okay so this is the alternative to this uh, multiple SCM plugins so let's see how we can use this plugin so you need to go to the Jenkins first you need to install that plugin from the manage Jenkins okay, so for that purpose go to the manage plugin section so from the available tab I will search multiple SCMs so this plugin is deprecated this is also shown here okay so let's see how we can use it so before uh, installing this plugin let me show you uh, a simple freestyle project first okay and then we will see what changes you will uh, get after installing this plugin okay so i will click on new item and i will select freestyle project let's say and uh, click on okay so click on source code management and in that you will get this option git okay so we are not getting the multiple scm uh, option over here so if we install this plugin then we will get that option installation is successful then just refresh the job okay so now we are getting this option multiple scms so i will select that option okay i will click on add scm then git so first i will give the repository that is the day one okay and uh, in this i will uh, give the branch as uh, main right i don't have the master branch in the github so my branch name is main otherwise it will give you the error okay so main branch from the day one and uh, another one we are going to add that is also git so this is my dev2 Okay, and here also I have the main branch. Let's just print some statement over here. Let's say click on apply and save. So I will click on build now button. So let's see. So here you can see first it has checked out the code from the day one okay and uh, main branch it has used and once it is done it has checked out the dev2 right so code from the main branch okay so if we check the workspace for this so currently it is showing readme and uh, test.java so in day one we have this file and uh, in dev2 we have readme and test.java but it is not showing the uh, the file from this okay because uh, when he check out the code from the dev2 it has overwritten the code from the day one in the same workspace okay so once day one checkout is done the that file is available here but after that it has checked out the code from the dev2 that's why it has overwritten that code or overwritten that files okay so what we can do is i will go to the configure again and let's try to uh, check out these files to different uh, directory okay so instead of same directory it is currently uh, checking out in the same workspace okay same location so let's give some subdirectory in which it can 
uh, pull the code from the let's say dev2 so what i can do is i will scroll down here i will go to the additional behavior click on add and here you will get the checkout to a subdirectory and uh, here i will give dev2 code okay so whatever files from the dev2 should be available in this uh, directory okay i will click on apply and save so let's build this again let's see if it works or not okay this is done so i will go to the workspace location again okay so i have this file new feature xyz which is from the dev1 okay this is available here and in the dev2 code these two files are available okay that means i have successfully get the project means code from uh, multiple scms mean multiple uh, repository from the github okay and i can reuse the files uh, in my single project okay so some code or some uh, values i want from this file into the uh, files let's say in test.java okay and i have to keep this file in separately in separate projects in my github okay for example in this file uh, there are some values which are getting updated every day so i cannot get this file into the dev2 directly in my dev2 repository so i will keep separate repository and dev1 is going to change its values every day right so i am going to fetch those values so i cannot have the same file available in the uh, dev2 and as this file is uh, getting updated every day i need to check out that file from the dev1 okay and that's why this multiple scms uh, concept comes into picture okay so i will get that file from the dev1 and i will keep it and some workspace location and i will get another code from the dev2 and i will keep it in the subdirectory and then i can reuse the codes i can reuse the files from different projects in the github so here uh, we have uh, check out the project from the same scm that is github.com okay so let's say one is uh, one repository is available in my github and another one let's say from the gitlab so that also you can do so what i can do is i will copy this project let's say i want to check out this project as well so i will keep dev1 as it is and uh, instead of dev2 i am going to check out this project from the gitlab now okay and uh, gitlab will have the master branch okay, so i need to change to master okay and here i will give let's say gitlab code okay, click on apply and save so i will click on build now Okay, so it is completed so first it has check out from the day one and once it is done it has check out the code from the gitlab test .git repository so let's verify the workspace okay so we have this subdirectory so this is from the day one and in the gitlab code we got the file from that gitlab repository which are available in this repository project so that is all for this session guys uh, how we can use the pipeline script for the same purpose that i will show you uh, in the separate session so try to use this plugin and let me know if you face any issue in this thank you